Good morning, my dear students. My name is Andhani Sharma, working as physics lecturer in one of the reputed institution, and I have around uh, 25 years experience as a physics lecturer. We are now going to know about projectiles. Okay, one of the important concept for all competitive exams. Okay, now about a projectile. What is projectile? See, any body thrown at an angle theta with respect to horizontal is called projectile. Okay, so any body you can throw a javelin. So you know, usually an athlete throws a javelin at an angle theta comes under projectile. Okay, or else a bullet fired from a gun is also comes under projectile. Okay, or else a player kicks a ball. Okay, batsman kicks a ball, or a football player kicks ball into the air also comes under projectiles okay so now coming to this competitive examination projectiles plays very very important role you will be given definitely one question in any competitive exam like NEET, MSET or JE mains okay so here you are considering a body okay so this is one body you have taken thrown at an angle theta with respect to horizontal so you are projecting the body from origin okay which is making an angle theta so you know this is horizontal component and you know this is vertical component so whenever you are throwing a body now at an angle theta vector quantities like velocity acceleration okay displacement will have two components okay one taken along x direction and another one taken along y direction now coming to the point how to solve especially the competitive examination problems that is mainly if you remember one important point based upon that you can solve any problem easily instead of learning too many formulas for a competitive exam so what is that point that is you know when you are throwing a body at an angle theta na, so this horizontal component of velocity okay remains constant anywhere horizontal component of velocity is same okay for example you see a person jumped by bending his head at some angle okay into the air like this so at this point also he will be having velocity nothing but you can say u cos theta okay so first half his velocity vertical velocity vertical component of velocity decreases so this will become zero at highest point so you need to remember mainly these two important points what are they horizontal component of velocity at any point remains constant okay but vertical component of velocity slowly decreases and becomes zero when it reaches to highest point further it is coming to ground it will increase okay now now let us consider a body at a point O. Okay. So this body is thrown at an angle theta with u velocity. Then you know it will be resolved into two components now horizontal and vertical. You know horizontal always taken as u cos theta and you know vertical u sin theta. So the important valuable point under this concept is everywhere in the path of projectile horizontal does not changes means at highest point it is u cos theta just before reaching the ground also u cos theta only but vertical 
in the first half decreases okay in the next half it increases so if you know this point it is easy to solve any problem how very simple for example you have given a question what is kinetic energy of the projectile at highest point that is your question you want to find kinetic energy of a projectile at highest point means here okay how so you know kinetic energy general formula half m v square right where m is mass of the body and you know v velocity over here vertical component of velocity is zero but horizontal component of velocity you cos theta only right so that is why its energy will become half m u square cos square theta okay so this is about kinetic energy so instead of kinetic energy uh, you want to find potential energy how you know total energy is half m square because in the beginning you are throwing your body at an angle theta with respect to horizontal now so this is kinetic and this is total therefore you know potential is equal to total minus kinetic right so you know it will become half m u square minus half m u square cos square theta so you know you are all good at mathematics after taking half m u square you get 1 minus cos square theta na so becomes sin square theta that means you know potential energy will become half m u square sin square theta okay this is potential energy of the projectile at highest point and you know this is kinetic energy of projectile at highest point okay now suppose you have given a question a body is thrown at an angle theta not known but 75% of its total energy is lost when it reaches to highest point so what is your question a body is thrown at some angle you don't know but they are saying 75% of the energy total energy okay 75% of total energy is lost when it reaches to highest point then what is the angle of projection so you need not worry you know kinetic energy is half mv square cos square theta right so So according to our problem, three fourth is lost. That means one fourth is retained by it, na? So one fourth of total energy is at highest point. That is the given problem, right? Because they are saying seventy five percent lost. So which is equal to you know kinetic energy is half m u square cos square theta, na? So this half m u square half m u square cancelled. Okay. You get cos square theta equal to one fourth. So cos theta half theta sixty degrees. So very simple. Okay. Now suppose you want to find average velocity from point of projection till it reach to maximum height. That is your question. See, I am using only one formula from the beginning. That is. For a projectile, horizontal component of velocity remains constant. Okay, that is my concept. Okay, now what is what is my question? Average velocity I want to find. Okay, average velocity I want to find from point of projection to till maximum height. So, you know, starting velocity. 
horizontal you know u cross theta na into y plus vertical you know u sin theta into j okay i taken along x direction you know j taken along y direction now you want to know final velocity when it reaches to highest point you know this is the horizontal one that remains same now so that's why it is u cos theta is y only but what about vertical zero so you know horizontal remains constant okay so average means you know initial plus final by 2 now means this plus this by 2 that's all okay means u cos theta okay into y plus u sin theta into j okay plus u cos theta into i okay by 2 so once you know the average velocity in the vector form you know how to find its magnitude right so that is you know u cos theta u cos theta i did so it will become 2 u cos theta i plus you know so u cos theta into i okay plus half u sin theta into j so once you know the vector now you can find its magnitude okay so that is second model now So we are saying horizontal component of velocity remains constant, right? So when horizontal is constant, you know, horizontal acceleration will become zero, okay? And uh, vertical acceleration minus g because you are throwing your body at an angle theta now, so it's moving uh, against uh, gravity. So that is why it will be taken minus, okay? Now suppose you want to find a, okay you want to find a time of flight so you know the total time spent by the projectile is called time of flight okay means before zero seconds it is on ground after t seconds also it is on ground only that means it's very clear that vertical component of displacement is zero so make use of relation s is equal to ut plus half a t square so i will attach all vertical components okay so displacement wise zero because before 0 seconds it is on ground after t seconds also it is on ground that's why this is 0 okay and you know u y that is u sin theta into capital T minus half a y you know g t square so t you can take common now t if you take out then you know capital T equal to 2u sin theta by g so that is the total time taken by the projectile okay now suppose uh, you want to find the average velocity of the projectile from point of projection to till it reach the ground now you are going to find average velocity okay between from point of projection to till it reaches the ground means during the time of projectile so you know starting velocity plus final velocity by 2 you can take otherwise you see this is the displacement right this is the displacement you can define average in other way also total displacement by total time total displacement is this part range 
by flight. So here, you know, the body is maintaining uniform, okay, uniform constant horizontal velocity. Means u cos theta remains constant. So you know, whenever the body maintains constant velocity, it is only just displacement by time now. So displacement is velocity into time. So I can take u cos theta into flight by flight cancel. So what is the average velocity of the projectile during the time of flight? That is u cos theta. Because you know average velocity taken as total displacement by total time. So you know horizontally it is displaced through a distance r. No. So r by t. Okay. So you know it is constant velocity that's why you have taken displacement by time. So u cos theta into t by t cancelled. Okay, very simple. So from the beginning we are only explaining that horizontal component of velocity at highest point remains same. Okay, now suppose you want to find the maximum height. Say this distance you want to know. Vertical distance. How? Okay. So for all computer exams, if you try to remember few points, it's very easy to solve more number of problems. Okay, now you want to know this vertical displacement. So I know only one valuable point. So from the beginning, we are saying that the horizontal component of velocity is always u cos theta, right? And uh, initial na, vertical velocity is u sin theta, vertical at highest point is 0, displacement vertical is h. Okay, so make use of relation v square minus u square equal to 2a, yes. Okay, now you attach all vertical components. Vertical, 0 square minus u square sin square theta, okay, equal to minus 2g h because you know the body is thrown at an angle theta into the air so you know it is against gravity now that's why minus okay so this minus minus cancelled h equal to you know u square sin square theta okay by 2g so this also you derived based on this concept only right now we are going to know one of the important concept for computer exams that is about complementary angles okay complementary angles so very very important concept you can expect a hundred percent in any competitive exam okay but before that we will try to just uh, check whether our formula is applicable or not in all the cases okay suppose we have given a question find angular momentum of the projectile when it is at highest point okay so you know angular momentum of a body is mv or na where m is mass of the body the corresponding velocity or radius so you know mass of the body is m so what is the velocity of the body when it is at highest point you know it is u cos theta so r means this particular radius which is equivalent to maximum height now so you can take that as u square sin square theta by 2g that means it is easy to apply anywhere right now we'll go second concept okay just extending our concept okay so let us suppose two bodies are thrown say one with angle theta 1 say another one with angle theta 2 with reference to horizontal such that sum of these two angles is 90 so remember whenever sum of the two angles is 90 it is said to be you know complementary angles right say one taken as theta so definitely the other one will become 
90 minus theta. Okay, so time of flight of the first one. So let us consider two bodies or thrown with same velocity, one with an angle theta, another one with an angle 90 minus theta such that the sum is 90. So time of flight of the first one. So you know it is 2u sin theta by g na. So it is time of flight of the first one. Means time taken by the first one is t1. Now we'll see the second one. Okay. Say that is t2. 2u. Okay. Sin of na 90 minus theta by g. You know sin of 90 minus theta is cos theta. So you get 2u cos theta by g. That is about the flight of second one. Okay. Now. Now you see about their heights. Say first one raised to a height h1 from ground. Say second one to a height h2. Okay. So maximum height of the first one. You know u square. Okay. Sin square theta by 2g. Say this is taken as first one. Okay. Now second one you see h2 u square. Okay. Sin 90 minus theta square by 2g. So you get u square. Okay. Cos square theta by 2g. That is about the second one. Okay. So in this way it's very easy to calculate any problem. Okay. Now suppose you have given a question. bodies displacements here given at a point. So a body is thrown okay at an angle theta at a point P after time T seconds its displacements here given right. Say X given as 3T okay and Y given as suppose 4T minus 5T square okay. So they may ask you to find height, flight, range. Okay. All the three you want to find. So you know horizontal component of velocity is always u cos theta. Na? So that's why when you are comparing it is equal to you know u cos theta right into t only now. So this is equated to u cos theta. So u cos theta is known to us say that is 3. Right? So if this is known to you, you can find a kinetic energy. Okay. So suppose instead of this equation, you have given only one equation. Say x equal to 3t. Find kinetic energy of particle of mass 1 gram when it is at highest point. So you know at highest point, it will be having only u cos theta. Right? You want to find kinetic energy of the projectile when it is at highest point. So kinetic energy is half mv square. So half mass of the body is 1 gram you convert it into kg and u cos theta whole square. So that value given now 3 square. So half no 10 power minus 3 into 3 square. So in this way it's very easy to solve. Okay. That is if you remember this point when equation is given. Okay. Now you want to find now flight, height, range. So similarly when you compare this is you know u sin theta right. So the other one is half gt square no. So u sin theta taken 4. u cos theta taken 3. Okay. Now you want to find flight. So what is formula for time of flight? So just now we derived here. It is 2u sin theta by g. Now, so instead of this u sin theta, you can put 4. Okay. G, when you are comparing, 
it is equal to 10. Okay, so you get t equal to 2 into 4 by 10. So 0.8 seconds. Okay, it will take 0.8 seconds to reach ground. Suppose you want to know how much height it raised above the ground. So you know, formula of h is u square, okay, sin square theta by 2g. So u sin theta is known. 4 now, so 4 square by 2g. Now, g taken 10. Okay, so 16 by 20, right? So divides how many times? You know, 8 times by 10, point 0.8. Now, point 0.8 meter. Okay, so that body raised above the ground point 0.8 meters. Now you want to know where it touches the ground. So it's nothing but you know, range now. So range is equal to you know, horizontal component of velocity into time of flight. Right? So just now you calculated by comparing the equation, you know u cos theta is 3 na and into time of flight 0.8. Okay, so 24 by 10, nothing but 2.4 meter. Okay, first equation is 3 to know. So u cos theta is 3. Okay, so in this way, it's very easy to calculate any problem. Okay, now let us discuss a simple problem related to this projectile. Okay, let us suppose there are two football players. One kicking the ball and the other one, okay, 60 meters away. from first player okay so there are two football players separated by 60 meters of distance okay 60 meters of distance now you have given a question if the player kicks the ball with 10 meter per second at an angle 45 okay what is the speed required by the second person in order to catch the ball okay that is a question so first you have to think over it that is how much time this ball will spend in a because you know the other player cannot catch the ball when it is in a no he can catch the ball only when it comes very near to the ground so that is very very important. So how to find the time of flight? So that is you all know t equal to 2u sin theta by g na. So here we are saying that first play, player kick the ball at speed 10. Okay. Into angle sin 45 1 by root 2 by g 10 cancelled. Okay. So, root 2 seconds that the ball spent in air. Now, by the time the player should come and catch the ball. So, how much time is required to this uh, uh, player? Root 2 seconds. Okay. And you should also know it. How much distance that this ball covers horizontally. Nothing but you know range right so 45 degrees so range okay range is you know u cos theta into time of flight right so u you know 10 cos 45 1 by root 2 into time of flight you know root 2 cancel 10 that means this ball covers 10 meters now how much distance is left to the second player? So definitely you have to cover 50 meters of distance within root 2 seconds. 
ओके सो स्पीड इज इक्वल टू यू नो डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय टाइम सो सेकंड प्लेयर हैव टू ट्रेवल 50 मीटर्स ऑफ डिस्टेंस विद इन रूट 2 सेकंड्स ओके सो मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय रूट 2 ओके सो 50 रूट 2 बाय 2 नथिंग बट यू नो 25 रूट 2 मीटर पर सेकंड यूनिट्स आर आल्सो अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू any problem especially in physics right so 25 root 2 meters per second speed is required to the second person in order to catch the ball so i said in the beginning they are at 60 meters of distance away from another this boy king the ball at an angle 45 with 10 meter per second velocity now so while the ball is in air the second player have to run how long till it reaches the ground okay so in this way, it's very, very easy to solve any problem. Okay. So like this, I have number of skills in order to explain this type of problems. Okay. If you like this video, please like and share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.